Lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome to episode 11 of Niche Warrior Cats with Blossom Clan. Before we start off this episode, we are going to have a quick look over the map and how that has changed over the past two episodes. So, um, before we had just the Founders Path and then the West Wilds, which went through the Sacred Bridge, over to, well, the other side, which was the... Um, um, portion near Starberry and the North Wilds. Now guys, we actually have the bottom part of the frontier, so that entire place, still kind of known I guess as the frontier, but the bottom part of the frontier near the West Wilds is the Summerland and the um, portion at the top that we've discovered, the newly bit of land we've discovered um, near the North Wilds is now the official frontier. And then we have Wise Lake, as I said in the previous episode, we went ahead and actually named the lake that time around because Lake Wise is the one who discovered it on his final days. And then at the bottom you'll see that the tree has finally been named, the Tree of Foundants. Now the other tree at Cliff End, I still haven't decided what I'm going to name it. But uh, there we go, those are the changes and let's jump into the episode. Right. So Lakewise is on his final day, which is really sad. And some of you lovelies were panicking in the comments with me and letting me know that, oh my goodness, clans need to have leaders all the time. So um, what are we going to do? Because Lakewise cannot be, uh, I mean, he's going to pass away anyways. Medicine cats cannot be leaders. You guys have already made that clear. Queens cannot train. So Copperpaw should not have this gemstone so he is no longer going to be a gemstoned child because he's not actually being trained by anyone um the only person we have that can train is hawk strike so what the hell is gonna happen i don't know we don't have a leader can leaders skip the step of going through deputies if that is the case guys then autumn swift is going to be the leader until someone steps up to the plate now, you guys said that, you know, medicine cats can't be a leader and that clans must always have a leader. So, the only way I'm interpreting that is that we have to get the only warrior we have, even if she is a queen, and make her a leader. But you guys said leaders can be queens. Not sure if you said queens can become leaders or if they can skip the deputy process, but you did say that deputies and leaders can be queens. So, there we go. We now have Autumn Star. And you guys let me know that um, Autumn Star. One of you lovely said that Autumn Swift is actually your favorite nicheling. I don't know in what regards you meant that, but there we go. And uh, yeah, this portion of land, um, newly discovered place, especially where we had the frontier previously, is known as Summerland in honor of Summer Star because she's the one who kind of encouraged discovery or exploration in this area and then went on to discover the Sacred Bridge. I'm pretty sure that was Summer Star's doing. Um, so that's quite exciting, and I'm glad her name and her achievements are kind of engraved in the landscape in the form of its name. So that's pretty cool. But okay, I think we finished all the turns when we played literally last night. <laughs> ah, but uh, let's turn the day, and uh, we're going to be saying goodbye to Lakewise. Oh, Lakewise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, buddy. Okay. And there he goes. We are up to 85 food, 7 nichelings, and 70 nesting material. We have Dopo, who is still quite young. She's got a day until she is old enough to um, be a warrior. Um, okay, so you guys, I'm so sorry. But you said deputies and leaders can be queens, but queens can't be mentors. Okay, Coolio. So even though Autumn Star is a star right now, she can't train Copper Paw. Okay, duly noted. So, oh, 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 look. Bloom Kid is now Bloom Paw, everyone. Bloom Kid is now Bloom Paw. Also, you lovelies were saying that I should make Bloom Paw a permanent queen and not a medicine cat, just make a younger sister Falcon Kit a medicine cat because she is just too pretty not to have babies. And uh, I actually agree with you guys. So we might go ahead and do that. She is really pretty, but so is Pastel Kit. Pastel Kit has the same genes. I mean, yes, okay. She doesn't have the um, <laughs> she doesn't have the um, snout. She's got purse snout, which we don't want. And she's actually got better eyesight, guys. Who would we want to breed? The nicheling with poor eyesight or the nicheling with better eyesight? I think I would prefer to keep Pastel Kit, uh, not as a permanent queen, but she's gonna be a warrior anyways. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna make Bloom Paw a medicine cat. 
Um, and the reason for that is Hulk Strike doesn't have too long left in her life. I literally think she's not going to be around long enough to train Falcon Kit. That's what I'm thinking. Bloompaw is, yeah, she's going to be trained before Hulk Strike passes away if we send her now. So I'm going to give her the blue gemstone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It was the eyes that did it for me. I mean, she is beautiful, but Pastel Kit kind of has the same genes, guys. Pastel Kit kind of has the same genes, and then they both have recessive blind eyes, which is kind of scary. But Pastel Kit has um, normal eyes, uh, whereas Bloompaw has short-sighted eyes, and I really don't know if you want that passed on. So I apologize if I hurt anyone's feelings, but okay, we're going to go ahead and Autumn Star can't go and receive blessings. I mean, she can't have children anymore, so it's not like it's going to be used for something. It's going to be pointless. But also because she's a queen, she can't leave the immediate nursery. Which kind of sucks a tad bit, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. So we're going to get her to just patrol the area. Because she can't do anything else. She's just going to patrol the area. Bloompaw is leaving the nursery. I think we're going to get Hawk Strike to come back up this way? I don't know. Hulk Strike is going to keep moving, I think. She's been having a good time moving around. And I don't know if Bloompaw is going to be able to make it to her in time. But she is training under her. Yes, they haven't met up yet, but she is training. She's learning about all these things. We'll say that, um, hmm, how would this have worked? We can say that maybe these nichelings have left a message through the water or no. They don't have any like way to communicate, do they, apart from the purrs and stuff, and they wouldn't have purred. I don't know. Maybe the nichelings um, called out, probably, Autumn, Autumn Star, now Autumn Star, probably called out to um, Hawk Strike, letting her know that she's sending her daughter. Um, in Hawk Strike's way, and Hawk Strike probably would have said, Oh, send her the long way down the river so that she can learn. I mean, every I feel like every nicheling or every warrior cat has different ways of teaching, and I think Hawk Strike's way is different to how she learned, which was very um, close to Lakewise in Cliff End. I think what she would say is that she wants her apprentice, Bloompool, to actually make her way through all these places, you know, through the through Summerland through Cliff End, follow the river down to where she is, and hopefully learn about some medicinal stuff along the way. So that's quite exciting. Okay, and then these children, Falcon Kit, we're gonna get Falcon Kit to jump up here, and then Pastel Kit, I think, wants to play in this, near this rock. Um, meanwhile, Copper Boy is gonna be helping out with collecting food, because that is actually very important. We don't have anyone exactly collecting food right now so that's very important dopo has a day before she ages up into an adult yep okay she's gonna move in this direction oh look berry bush and she's gonna help clear that cross away wonderful wonderful and in all honesty guys i know i did say ages ago not ages ago two episodes ago that we would spend 10 seconds on the map but let's be realistic. Every time I'm gonna have to explain something that's happened in the map, or I have to explain something that's increased or we've changed, I feel as though it's gonna take me minimum a minute. So I apologize, but if we look at maps like every second episode or so, I am going to be spending at least a minute on it because otherwise it's gonna be hard for you guys to keep track if you know I'm talking about explaining something but you can't see the map on the screen, and then if I have the map on the screen for a few seconds and don't explain what the changes we got made, you guys might also get confused. So let me know if you're okay with having the map up for a minute or two while I talk about it. And it's every second episode, it's not even every se episode, so shouldn't be too much of an issue, but okay. And that way the changes aren't so huge that I need to spend like seven minutes explaining what's happening. Huh, okay, turning the day, nobody has died, which is great. And Dopo has aged up into a warrior, so that's exciting because now she can take on an apprentice. And I think that is exactly what's going to happen. Kopopo, you have a mentor now. So, Dopo, oh, oh, she's not Dopo anymore. She needs a proper name, guys. She needs a proper name. What are we going to name her? 
Huh. I think we are going to name her Doe Speed. Yeah. Gonna name her Doe Speed for being swift. Doe Speed. And also because she had a really quick training. And uh, yeah, she was on her own. She had to learn stuff a lot. She grew up very quick in that sense. So she's gonna be called Doe Speed. Welcome to the family. Oh, she's so exciting. I mean, she was already in the family, but uh, congratulations on your promotion. So that's exciting. We're gonna be spending cop uh, sending Copper Paul over to Doe Speed so that he can learn from her and be um, her apprentice. And I want to jump. That's regrowing grass. I wanted to jump over here, actually, so that I can clear these grasses. Wonderful, wonderful look at that. I'm really happy with where this is going, in all honesty. But okay, we're moving things along there. Hmm, okay, and then Bloompool is making her way. Yep, it is taking a little bit of time, but she is making her way slowly but surely over to Hawkstrike. And I think Hawkstrike is gonna start making her way back so that she is closer to, oh, jeez. How did I drown her? Oh, goodness gracious, I didn't mean to do that. And, yeah, that's tough. It's okay, when Bloompool meets up with her, she can help heal her because only Madison Cats can purr. I do remember that, I do remember that, guys. So, okay, let's get Autumn Star moving around. And oh my goodness, it's Autumn Star's last day, okay. Well, Autumn Star is going to move around over here. She can't collect any bit of food whatsoever. The children are going to play around. Yep, there we go. Uh, two daughters are still so young. They're going to be playing around here while their mother goes off and um, helps patrol the nursery to make sure no outsiders, no one's coming in from the West Wilds. Right, okay. Oh, let's turn the day over. We have another pool. Who Pastel Paul, who does not have a teacher at this stage, but she is going to be becoming a warrior apprentice at some point. But for now, she's probably going to spend her time playing and obviously helping collect food and stuff, so she can help out with that. And oh no, Autumn Swift passed away. No, Autumn Swift is gone, guys, and we also don't have a whole heap of nichelings. We have six, we have six. Um, holy cow, we have one male. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be checking to see the genetics just yet. They're still young, I don't feel like they should be worried about that, and if I'm worried about that while they're young, then that means they're worried about that. So I don't wanna delve into that at all. But we're gonna have to wait until we have um, probably a couple poor age up before I even look at genetics and see who he's compatible with. And of the nichelings that we have, it's probably just going to be between um, his two sisters over here. Probably between Doe Speed and Pastel Kit or Pastel Paul. Is she? Yeah, Pastel Paul. We'll have to see because I do think Falcon Kit is going to be another medicine apprentice or she is going to be a permanent queen, but probably another medicine apprentice. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Okay, so, oh, this is so tough. So flippin' tough. Uh, nobody's at the nursery anymore, so actually I think Hawkstrike's gonna have to come back, because you lovely said when there's no queen, or there's a sickly queen, that's when the medicine cat looks after the children. So, okay, Falcon Kit, come through there. Hawkstrike is gonna be making her way back to the nursery to look after the children. Yep. And Bloompool is gonna help her so that Hawkstrike hopefully is healed. And there we go. After spending so many of years out in like first in Cliff End learning about how you heal from coconut stuns and then um, swimming through these lakes and waterways clearing away grasses, um, she's finally made her way back um, to a new nursery where she can help out by looking after the last two, um, or the last pawn kit. I think the last kit mainly, that's what the queens are for. Not the paws, pastel paws, somewhat independent now. She can go do her own thing, but definitely falcon kit. So okay, now let's get copper pole moving, shall we? He just needs to cross the sacred bridge. Wonderful, 
and she is going to jump this way. Damn it! I forgot. She can't attack, can she? Crap. Okay, she's gonna collect a berry. <laughs> Never mind then. She's just gonna collect a berry because she can't attack. But she can attack Copper Pool. So that's pretty cool. Okay. We'll have that done. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's get the day moving. Okay. Well, we don't have any new pools. Hulk strikes healed! Amazing! That was, I think, Bloom Pools, the very first lesson in um, medicines, which is quite exciting, in my opinion. But uh, okay, let's go ahead and see what we're doing with these niche things. Right, well, Doe Speed is gonna be teaching Copper Pool how to hunt. There we go, and he hunted them all. She's gonna jump here, collect that. That was a big help to food. I wanted to start focusing on that again. And Pastel Paw can actually also hunt more. So we're gonna get her to jump there. And she's gonna snag this. Wonderful. We'll have Bloom Paw gather this up under the instructions of Hulk Strike, of course. And oh my goodness, Hulk Strike needs that blue um, gemstone in the middle because she is the head um, medicine cat now. Okay, and she's gonna jump this way and help pluck a berry. And Falcon Kit, meanwhile, is going to continue playing because that's all she knows to do. Okay, Pastel Paw is probably gonna be helping out here and there, doing whatever she can do best, but that's um, quite exciting. Okay, okay, wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's turn the day, guys, and see what else we get, shall we? Oh, okay. Copper Paw has aged up now. It would be really cool if we could come across a Wanderer right now because we don't have a whole lot of genetics to work with. But okay, Copper Paw, it looks flippin' amazing. And he needs... Oh, we don't have a leader, do we? <laughs> it's okay. We couldn't, we couldn't make anyone a leader anyways. But Copper Paw is going to get a new name. And, huh. His new name, guys... I think is going to be hmm I think it's going to be because he did hunt as apprentice and he is quite good at that I think it's gonna be copper hunt so copper hunt welcome to the family I mean congratulations I will say that congratulations copper hunt so there we go that is him right over there he's gonna get his gemstones as a warrior and I think at this stage the only thing eligible to be a leader or a star is doe speed so she is going and she's already trained someone so that works she's gonna get her yellow gemstones she is going to be now doe star we've had our nicheling leaders change so fast recently that it's hard to keep track of and then she's gonna come here and actually receive her blessing so let me actually get the random generator out, this is quite exciting. And she might be able to use her blessings because one, she's very young. And uh, two, because we don't have a whole heap of nichelings to mate around with, we might have to risk this. So let's go ahead. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, here we go. She's gonna pluck a berry. And this is the first blessing she's receiving. That's what, eight? No, that's 8. <laughs> Whoopsies, 12, 14. Okay, so let's randomly generate a cross. So if you guys don't remember, we do this by row and then by column. So generate for 14, we got number 2. So okay, she's receiving a blessing from the second row. Um, okay, and then let's go down in terms of columns. We've got, I think... Hold on a second. Wait, three, six, eight. All right, okay. Let's randomly generate eight. She got a seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, huge pattern. I guess that's the first blessing she's receiving. Let me know which nicheling you guys think, or which warrior cat from the past who has passed away you guys think this blessing is from. But uh, okay, she has huge pattern and her second blessing is let's have a look so it's from 14 again 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and we've got 
six, seven. Right. She got a two. Well, that won't work because it's locked. When, it, when something's locked, we just re-roll, guys. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brown pattern. Okay, so she received the blessings of huge pattern and brown pattern. Let me know what you guys, uh, or who you guys think these blessings are from. I'm quite intrigued by them. But with that said and done, I am going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.